Good afternoon, viewers. In this video, we shall differentiate from the first principle y is equals to cos x. I'm the same person, Dr. Ho J. Please don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you will be daily notified. Thank you. Now, I want to differentiate from the first principle y is equals to cos x. Now, if this y is equals to cos x is of equation 1, now, Adding the real constant uh, delta y to y is equal to cos x plus uh, delta x. Okay, we call this one equation 2. So by subtracting equation 2, I mean equation 1 from 2, we have y plus delta y. Okay, let's, let's write this out. Let's write it out. Subtract. Subtract. Subtract equation 1 from equation 2 gives what y plus delta y minus y is equal to cos x plus delta x minus cos uh, x and it's the left from the left and the right from the right so with that this we cancel this out so we're going to be left to 12 delta y is equal to cos into x plus uh, delta x minus uh, cos uh, x and it's cos uh, x plus uh, delta h minus cos uh, x um oh we can still recall our knowledge of cos can we recall the knowledge of cos a minus uh, cos uh, b okay now in our cos a uh, minus cos b if we can recall in our trigonometry we know that uh, that is also what minus uh, to you know um uh, from the knowledge of a cos we have then minus two sine you know um a plus uh, b all over two you know sine a minus b all over two how we can still remember that uh, clearly you know that is the knowledge we had when we are dealing with uh, cos a minus uh, cos b so if we can use this now, we transform this into uh, what we have already uh, gotten here. That is, we have to say that um, our A will be A plus uh, delta hex, and our B will be hex. So, okay, because uh, looking at cos into hex plus delta hex minus cos x, it's as a form of cos A minus cos B. So, now, with that, now say, from, say from, you know, cos a minus cos b is equal to minus 2 sine half into what? a plus b sine half into a minus b. Okay? So with this, we cannot have, um, we can change this form, this, this form to this form. So delta y will now be equal to minus 2 sine half into x plus delta x plus x, you know, then sine half into x plus delta x minus x. Okay? So with this, we will have delta y will be equal to minus 2 sine half into 2x plus uh, delta x, you know, because x plus x is uh, 2x plus delta x sine half into what? Into delta x. Okay, because x minus x is zero. Okay, so with that, with that, so what are we going to have? Let's go ahead. So we're going to have what? We're going to have um, uh, delta y now is equal to minus two sine half, you know, into uh, two x plus the delta x sine delta x. All over what? All over two. So in this case, we can reduce this. This one can be reduced as minus two sine. You know, half of this now will be what x because uh, plus delta x all over two. Okay, sine delta x all over all over two. Okay. Now with this, we have um, simplified uh, that. Okay. In this case now, we can do something. Yes, we can do something. So what can we do here? 
Now let's now introduce divide, di, di, dividing both sides by delta x. So we can say dividing dividing both sides by delta x. But then we do that, we have delta y all over delta x, you know, is equal to minus 2 sine, you know, x plus delta x all over 2 sine delta x all over 2 all over delta x. Okay? I hope we understand. Yes. Okay. So, invariably, we can equally write that this one can be equivalent to this particular statement can be equivalent to what? Let's look at how it can be equivalent to. So, I shall remove the minus 2 here. So, we can now say delta y, delta x all over delta x can be 1, minus sine x plus delta x all over 2, sine delta x all over 2, all over delta x all over 2. Yes. So, the 2 here can be brought here. Okay. That is, that is this, this particular statement is equivalent to this. Okay. So, by the time you divide this by this, these two will come back here. All right. Okay, now, but since in our standard uh, uh, limit uh, theorem, since sine delta x all over 2, all over delta x all over 2, if, it's, if you take the limit, that is, let's say since the limit of, you know, as delta x all over 2 tends to 0, since the limit of sine delta x all over 2, all over delta x all over 2 is equal to 1, it's a standard uh, result in limit theory. It's just like saying that sine, if you take sine x all over hex, the limit of sine x over hex is 1. So if the limit of sine x over hex is 1, the limit of sine delta hex all over 2, all over delta x all over 2. This is a standard, uh, you know, a standard result in the limit uh, theorem. Okay, it's a standard result in limit theorem. So since the limits of sine delta hex all over 2, all over delta x all over 2, as delta x tends all over 2 tends to 0, is equal to 1. Therefore, so this implies what? Delta y all over delta x is equal to minus sine, you know, x plus um, delta x all over 2 times 1. Okay? So, with that limit again, so now taking that limit, delta x tends all over 2 tends to 0, this delta y all over delta x changes to what? The y the x. Okay? It's equal to what? Minus sine of x plus now what we are saying is that anywhere you see delta x all over 2 turn it to 0 so you have 0 here okay so therefore we have that now implies delta y I mean dy the x is now equals what minus sine x plus 0 is x so we've been able to get the result of differentiation of uh, cos x from the first principle to be minus sine x so don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below uh, the video. Thanks and God bless you.